lowest point in his life. This former stuntman had to spend his old age doing several attractions together with Red on the side of the road to fulfill his daily life. To add to his suffering and deprivation, he also seemed to be in debt with a loan shark. That day, the loan shark, along with his men, went to collect Lou's debt and intended to take Red as collateral. But of course, knowing Red was his only one, Lou refused to let them take Red away from him. He ended up fighting the thugs and ran away from there with Red. Lou managed to escape and arrived at his old house, but the next day, the problem came again when two people in neat suits came to his residence. They said that they were from the DY capital, saying that the horse was claimed by the company. The reason behind that was because the party that gave the horse three years ago had died. Moreover, the man that gave the horse had a debt to DY Capital, and they considered the horse as a part of the man's property, and thus had to confiscate him. Lou didn't want to give up his favorite horse just like that, and neither did his friends who were there at that time. They helped Lou drive the two men away. After the two men left from there, Lou finally opened up about the root of the problem to his friends. Back then, his friend, the one who gave him the horse, went bankrupt, and the mother of Red belonged to the company, so legally, Red also belonged to the company as well. Lou knew that it was difficult for them to fight back, and the only way to go was through legal means. Lou thought that the money he had was not enough to hire a lawyer, but his two friends suggested that Lou went to meet his daughter. Long story short, Lou met his daughter named Xiao Bao, who at that time was a law student. Looking at the way they talked, it was clear that the relationship between them was okay. Back then, Lu and Bao's mother went to divorce, and Bao's mother took her away from him after he lost her custody. Bao was reluctant to help her father and rather seemed to keep her distance from him. Bao had a boyfriend who just became a lawyer and lost his first case. Their relationship was running well, and they had decided to go to a more serious relationship. On that day, Bao's boyfriend, whose name is Nai Hua, told her that his parents wanted to meet her parents. At that moment Bao, who felt she didn't have anyone else, was confused to respond to Nai Hua's request. The only mother she loved had passed away a few years ago, and her relationship with her father was not good because she didn't really know his father's figure. Nehua's request made her realize that the only one she had left was her father. One day, Bao saw her father doing attractions on the side of the road to make ends meet. But at that time, his father did not get even a penny. She immediately felt sad, and that's what led her to want to get to know her father more. That day, Bao visited her father's residence. She then asked her father for an explanation of why he needed a lawyer, and said that her boyfriend was a lawyer. She then suggested her father seek help from Naihua. So the next day, Bao finally brought her boyfriend to his father. And at that moment, Lu told him the problem and explained the origin of the relationship between him and his horse, showing that Red was so special to him. Three years ago, his best friend had a horse who was giving birth. At first, his best friend wanted to give Lu the mother horse, but he instead chose the deformed at birth foal. The veterinarian at that time said that the foal had a crooked leg and a weak heart, but behind that weakness, the vet said that the foal might become an obedient horse. Lu then told the foal to stand on his own if he wanted to come with him, and somehow, as if the foal understood the order, he shakingly started to stand up. Lu was amazed at him. He then gave him a name, took care of him, trained him, and loved him like his own child. One day, Lu's apprentice who had become a famous actor came to give him a little hope. After the fight between Lu and the loan shark became viral, the man decided to offer Lu to play a stunt role in a dangerous scene with his horse. So the next day, Lu Bao and Red went to keep the promise to play as a stunt actor in a very dangerous action movie. At that time, Lu and Red had to play a role in a battle scene, but Red was too afraid to play a role in the fighting movie, making him lose control. Lu felt disappointed because he couldn't control Red according to the script. Bao who saw her father in disappointment, approached Red and tried to calm him down. Unexpectedly, in the next attempt, Red performed amazingly until finally, the filming went smoothly and perfectly. After that, Luo and Red started to become popular for acting as stunt actors in dangerous scenes, and this time, Bao played a role as Lu's agent ad litem. Her job was to arrange what jobs they were allowed to take while considering the level of risk. Several jobs were done smoothly, until one day when they went home. The two previous men from DY Capital came again to confiscate Red. But this time, Bao was against it. She then asked to bring the problem to court. Long story short, in the first trial, DY Capital claimed to have the right to claim Red. But Lu and Bao still refused and asked for an appeal. Besides fighting for Red's ownership, Lu still worked with Red as a stuntman. But one time, the scene they were using was too dangerous. The film producer wanted Red to jump across a high gap, but the distance to run before the jump was too short. The producer didn't seem to take it into account. 
At first, Val balked and said that they would not do the shooting because it was too risky, but even though Lou looked hesitant, he finally decided to do it since he had to replace the loss of all costs for the film set that was made if he backed up. Meanwhile, Bao was worried. Fortunately, when the shooting started, Red started running and managed to jump. Sadly, behind that success, Red was struggling with all his might so as not to fall. After that, they celebrated their success while having dinner together. But the situation started to go awry when the previous loan shark came again to collect the debt from Lu. The boss saw Bao and was dazzled by her beauty. He flirted with her and was about to touch her, but Lu immediately stopped him. The guy was mad and a fight between Lu and the gang ensued. Luo, along with Red and Bao, then ran away back to his house. When they arrived, Bao suddenly hugged her father. She said that she was so happy since it was the first time she felt a protective father figure present in her life. In the following days, they still played the role of stuntmen in some dangerous action films. Luo and Red often fell during the action, which made Bao worry about her father's safety. She asked her father to stop doing such a dangerous job, especially with Red, but Luo denied her request and said that she did not know a thing about being a stuntman. One day, Lu went to an invitation to meet his daughter's boyfriend's family. They met in a luxurious restaurant for dinner, but the impression that Lu gave at that time made Bao embarrassed, until at one moment, Bao couldn't stand her father's behavior and told her boyfriend's family that she just recently became close to her father for the sake of the gathering. She also said that even though her father's behavior looked embarrassing, she knew that he was still her father. Bao tried to explain that her father was a simple person and very different from them but she said that she still loved her father no matter his looks or behavior. Seeing the situation, Lu also said in front of his daughter's future parents-in-law that he was a failed and stupid father, but he hoped that they would judge Bao from a different perspective and not equate with him. After that meeting, Bao tried to talk about her father's job again and the way his father treated Red, but Lu, with his stubbornness, refused to do his daughter's request that which made the two of them fight again. After that, Lu accepted a job without consideration from Bao, the job was not less dangerous than the other jobs before, and he accepted it without thinking about the risks, until finally, in the process of filming, he and his horse fell and ended up in the hospital. Bao, who knew that her father ended up in the hospital, went to her father's place to look for his ID when she accidentally found a recorded CCTV footage of her father's failed meeting with her back when she was just a kid that Lu saved. That was the moment when Bao realized that her father really loved her, but he just wasn't good at expressing it. At the hospital, when Lu finally awake, he immediately apologized to Bao for his stupid behavior and also promised not to do it again. They finally reconciled. One night, Bao watched the footage when her father played a very dangerous role in his job as a stuntman. Bao felt sad because knowing how hard and dangerous her father's work was, she couldn't hold back her tears as she asked her father about it. At that moment, her father told her that he had an accident while working as a stuntman when he failed to jump into a helicopter and fell. He ended up in a coma for eight months and after that, he started to lose his job offers and ended up in poverty. The next day, Lu's friend came and offered him a job. At first, Lu refused because he had promised his daughter not to do anything dangerous again, but he was lured that this time, he had an important role and not as a stunt actor, which made him think again about accepting the offer. Until one night, when he was training Red to play the role in the film he was going to play, Bao suddenly showed up with Naihua. Bao knew something was wrong and that her father was hiding something from her. She was disappointed when she found out that her father would return to play in a film. As if not regretting what happened between him and Bao, Lu came to the shooting location with Red. He was given an explanation that he would not ride Red but instead, the film would use a CGI horse so there would be no serious injuries in the shooting process. But Lu refused that. As a true stuntman, he said that he would jump with his horse. After a long debate, in the end, the film producer agreed that they would jump with a real horse instead of using CGI. Shooting finally started and Lu, who was riding his horse, was about to do the jump, but in the middle of the shooting, he kept thinking about what his daughter had said and what he had done to Red. That thought finally convinced him to stop the dangerous act and immediately stopped Red, but at the expense of him falling from Red's back. Fortunately, he wasn't injured. He then immediately resigned from his role in that film. After that, he met his daughter and regretted his actions. The next day, they once again went to trial however, they lost the trial, and even Lu himself withdrew the lawsuit, so that Deed My Capital was declared won the trial. It was the day of farewell for Lu and Red. With the signing of a document, now Red has officially changed ownership. Lu left Red and couldn't look at him, but right after Lu left from there, Red immediately chased after him desperately. Lu couldn't hold back his tears to see what Red was doing. He asked the driver to stop the car only to yell at Red and told him to stop following him. As if he understood the order, suddenly, Red took a step back and stayed there. 
The separation made Lu truly devastated, and it was hard for him to forget Red just like that. Bao saw her father in sadness decided to meet the boss of Dimui Capital, telling him how special his father's relationship with Red is, and asked him to return Red to her father. The next day, Red unexpectedly showed up and woke Luff up from his sleep. To find his horse in his house, Lu woke up with joy. The owner of DY Capital who was at that place told Bao that even without her asking him to return Red the other day, he would still return Red.